begin with breaking details just released in the shooting of an East Rochester police officer who was saved by his bulletproof vest. Authorities say the suspect fired multiple shots. Shots fired. I I don't know if it's in my vest. Officer Brad Steve has been released from the hospital after he came face to face with multiple gunshots. Good afternoon. I'm Matt Malloy. Karen is off. Police say the suspect, 50 year old Raymond Noel, fired multiple shots at Officer Steve, striking him once. The suspect was also wounded during yesterday's encounter. 13 Wham's Jackie Napier brings us the new details just released this afternoon. Jackie. Good evening, Matt. Officer Brad Steve was treated at Strong Memorial Hospital and is now recovering from home. We're told the suspect, Raymond Noel, is still recovering at Strong and charges against him are still being determined. East Rochester police officers Brad Steve and Kyle Walsh were dispatched to a house on Garfield Street for a cause unknown 911 call. There, they came across Raymond Noel in the driveway of his Garfield Street home. According to East Rochester Police, Steve observed Noel with a handgun in his pants, and Noel ignored instructions to remove his hands from his pockets. At that point, police say Noel walked inside his home and pulled the handgun out, pointing it at Officer Steve. In turn, Officer Steve fired his gun, striking Noel once in the upper torso. The suspect is alleged to have then fired multiple shots at Officer Steve, one shot hitting him in the upper abdomen area of his bullet-resistant vest. Sid Southworth lives nearby. She says she has never had any cause for concern about her neighbor. Nothing down there had ever led me to believe that it was, that there was anything that w I should be worried about. Officer Brad Steve has spent 25 years in law enforcement, serving for both the East Rochester and Brighton Police Departments. A number of Officer Steve's former colleagues gathered at Strong Hospital to offer their support, a sentiment echoed by East Rochester residents. He really does love his job in the community to put himself in harm's way. I'm sure he didn't consider that whatever he was doing was going to put himself in that kind of harm's way. Um, but that's the nature of his job, I suppose. Charges against Raymond Noel are still being determined by the Monroe County District Attorney's Office and have not yet been announced. Matt.